Hiya, welcome to LSB Feaster's radio channel and Travel Corner, where we keep great radio from the past alive. Today, we're going to Chicago and 89 WLS. If you don't know anything about WLS, they were a powerhouse top 40 station owned by ABC back in the 70s into the 80s. I mean, this station was huge. Legendary names on the air there, like Yvonne Daniels, Larry Lujak, Tommy Edwards, Bob Surratt. I mean, the, the list goes on and on, including the names on today's air check, Steve and Gary. Steve and Gary were, well, <laughs> they were outrageous. They went out of their way to be outrageous, going back to the days of the disco demolition when Steve Dahl blew up disco records. <laughs> at a ballpark and caused the game to be canceled. Steve and Gary did everything they could to be outrageous but entertaining. And they spent decades on the radio in Chicago. Through their years on the radio in Chicago, Steve and Gary actually spent time on WLS, but they also spent a lot of time on The Loop FM 98. If you've never heard them, check out this air check. And if you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel too, and uh, ring that bell so you will be notified whenever we post anything new. So, all right, this is a treat. Steve and Gary, on WLS Chicago. Steve and Gary, scumbag, worm meat, idiot. Billy Joel and our favorite uptown gal before that, Jane, the cleaning lady, and her special Christmas address to the nation, encouraging all of us to go to Midnight Mess, and I'm sure we'll all do that come Christmas Eve. 237 WLS, we'll be right back. Welcome to Maury Major Sports. May I help you? Yeah, I'm the uh, Christmas present packer for Santa Claus. Where can I uh, set up? Set up? Yeah, Santa always gets his sporting goods equipment at Maury Major Sports, and I have to wrap up all the presents. Look, I need 50,000 square feet of wrapping paper, 100 miles of ribbon, and 4 million bows. What else do you need? 28,000 skis, a quarter of a million golf clubs, 80,000 pairs of running shoes, racquetball and tennis equipment, and uh, 7,000 bicycles. And don't forget about Maury Major Sports gift certificates. Oh, that's right, because Santa Claus wants everybody to have a Maury Christmas. Uh, hand me those 9,000 bowling balls and scooby gear equipment and uh, i'll need some sleigh size boxes say how did you get to be santa's christmas present packer in the first place very simple when i joined the company they had a special clause put into my contract clause in your contract yeah i'm what you call a gifted person right for a maury christmas come to maury major sports open daily nine to nine saturday nine to six and sunday ten to five maury major sports in the north point shopping center at Rand and palatine roads in arlington heights and in chicago at 620 north lasalle at ontario, ontario. C'est Dior Essence. C'est très joli. C'est Dior Essence. C'est élégant. C'est Dior Essence. Ah, oh, c'est angélique. <rire> c'est Dior Essence. Quel esprit. <rire> c'est Dior Essence. C'est Dior Essence. Oui. Oh, mais oui. How do you find the one gift that says... I think you're charming, beautiful, and very special. Quite simply, you go to your nearest Christian Dior fragrance counter and say, Dior Essence, and ask for the new Dior Essence Esprit de Parfum. Discover Dior Essence perfume at Carson Peary Scott. Deep inside Pacific Stereo headquarters is the secret laboratory of Dr. Discount, the inventor of Pacific Stereo's 12-hour sale. Aha! Wednesday is the day, the one day of my magnificent 12-hour sale. It is just a few days before Christmas, and all through Pacific Stereo, I've stirred up stupendous deals. Only I, Dr. Discount, could mastermind. Like video games from Atari, Activision, Mattel, and others, as little as $4.95 each. Ooh. Telephones from GTE start at $39.95. Hey. I love cassette decks. And Pacific Stereo has a Hitachi with Dolby B, $88. Oh. Royal Sound Car Stereo, AM-FM cassette with auto-reverse and 
speakers. $98, wow. and there's tons more, but only on Wednesday at Pacific Stereo at my 12-hour sale. <laughs> it was a few days before Christmas, and all through the house, all the creatures were stirring over deals from Dr. Discount. Stereo's Pacific TV. Stereo brings you Dr. Discount's 12-hour sale. Wednesday only, 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. at Pacific Stereo. The best All My Children update in the country, award-winning, in fact, after six with Mark from Kenosha. Hi. What's up? Why don't you uh, move over to the window here so I can point something out to you? Oh, a Denver boot. It's a boot the <laughs> it's scariest a, thing it's I've It's a ever boot, seen. the nicest boot I ever saw, eh? No, there was a police tow sticker slapped on the driver's window, but that has been removed, so I think the driver has come back to the car, scraped the sticker off, and now is frantically trying to figure out how to pay all his unpaid or her unpaid parking tickets to get that boot off. I would have to say that uh, don't they put the boot on if you have like a lot? Well, yes, over 10 outstanding. That's not a lot. No, but I thought it was more like a couple hundred. Actually, I think they're getting nuttier, so you have to uh, only have a few of these days. Like, I'd say 20, 25, maybe. Mm. I was going to say that... I thought it was over 100. I was going to say, I just leave the car there. It's not that nice a car. It's a Chevette. They're selling plastic ones for Christmas now, for jokes. You can buy them and just slap them on people's wheels. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Good what? gift. Why does this always happen to us? Why is there a Denver boot right across from us where we can see the whole drama take place? Why? Albert Brooks is in town. He's planning all this. A nice yellow Denver boot. Nice day for it, too. Yeah. Right before the holidays, too, when you have to shell out all that I cash. I find weather like this very depressing. Well, who, who doesn't? I'm not depressed, but it's taken all my energy today to not just fall into a funk. For no reason, just because of the weather. Good day for a multiple homicide. Good yeah. day for washing, for <laughs> washing your car and committing a multiple homicide. In the forest preserves. Man, it is funky out. It's not even that cold, it's just dismal. Yeah. How'd you like to come back to your car and find a Denver boot on it today? Nice day for that. You would think if you had a lot of outstanding parking tickets, you would not park at a meter that is only good for how long? 15 minutes? Uh, Half hour? Get, uh, 15 minutes for a quarter, I think. Yeah, you can only get 15 minutes out of those meters. So your chances of getting back there in 15 you get, minutes... Uh, you get a half an hour for 50 cents. Oh, it does go up to a half hour, though. Uh, well, as soon as that driver gets back there, we'll break in no matter what's happening, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, who, doesn't somebody have to come and undo it? Yeah, after you pay. I think it's got to be done before 5 or 6, too. Oh, the pressure's really on. <laughs> it's kind of weird that the person scraped the sticker off. Big deal. <laughs> I'd be more concerned about the boot. <laughs> And there's a ticket on there, too. You still get a ticket. I mean, insult to injury. Uh-oh, is that the guy? He's got a vinyl, uh, black, full-length vinyl coat on. He's looking around. Uh, I think he just was admiring the boot. Mm. Ah, it's hard to believe he drives the big Cadillac. <laughs> Look at him. He's perfect <laughs> for that car. 50-foot black Cadillac. He, he looks like a chauffeur. I don't think he owns it. I mean, well, I mean, he might own it, but I don't think he, he rides in the back. <laughs> He's got a full-length vinyl coat. Black vinyl coat to match his uh, upholstery. Well, that's pretty funny. Right across from us. So we'll break in if the drama unfolds further. Yeah. Well, it's got to at some point, right? Let's hope. I'm we waiting can for only... George to get one. He's got so many tickets, he never gets one down there. there well, we let's, uh, let's ca call in an, <laughs> an anonymous tip. Let's phone in a tip. We're good citizens, aren't we? Aren't Except they... he's getting laid off. Yeah, they're getting ready to lay him off. This is that time of year where he gets laid off and then rehired after the first of the year because if he stays on for a calendar year, they have to give him employee benefits because then he would be a full-time engineer. And uh, <laughs> you're saying, so what? 
let's try and remember back to yesterday when I read that memo about the Christmas party. This company doesn't even give Christmas parties for its employees. So, uh, I think you can see that it is a big deal <laughs> to them. Although there is going to be a Christmas party for five dollars, you could you can go next door and have free pizza yeah. and half price drinks, <laughs> except for call drinks. Okay. Sure. Are you going to go, Craig? Not a chance. I bet you John Garin is sitting there all by himself with five dollars <laughs> worth of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There's got to be some kiss asses that'll. Oh show up. come on! That'll show up. Come on! All the, all the sales guys. Oh, a kiss ass! Ho! For pizza! <laughs> Said we could invite a guest, right? Had the listeners come down. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my listeners, Howie. I have more respect and love for them than to trick them into attending a WLS Christmas party. It's not even really a Christmas party. What is it? It's something you could do any night of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Without much Just get a group of fuss. friends together, go get a pizza, chip in five bucks each, go to a bar that has happy hour. <laughs> there you go to Bennigan's. Bennigan's has happy hour all the time. Get some chicken fingers. You've got a Christmas party. WLS style. Because it makes us happy. I can't even believe those guys. How much have they made here this year? $20 million? Oh, They If they make <laughs> anything this year, it'll be a miracle. They're really hurting, Steve. They're really hurting. $20 million bucks, they can't throw a lousy Christmas party. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this is like a Christmas carol. Don't you think? I say Garen gets visited by uh, some spirits. Yeah. Are they friendly spirits? <laughs> friendly? Just listen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, is a, this is a sitcom here. It uh, really is. Yeah, well, it's uh, pretty much like WKRP for the most part. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. The big guy. <laughs> the big guy. The big guy up there. And it, but ins instead of him being afraid of his mom, he's afraid of ABC. His, you know, superiors. Right. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. And Beth, our receptionist, doesn't have big boobs. But I think she bleaches her hair, so... Well... Just kidding. <laughs> 248, 94.7 WLS-FM. Fighting Illini are on their way to the Rose Bowl to meet UCLA. Along with Steve Dahl and Gary Meyer, you could go with them. WLS and Budweiser are making it possible with five trips for two to the Rose Bowl. And we've made it easy to win. Tomorrow, just listen for us to play our new unofficial Illini fight song. It's the Fighting Illini in Pasadena. When you hear it, just be the 15th caller at 591-9470. You and a friend could be Rose Bowl bound on a five-day, four-night trip for two, consisting of airfare, hotel, the parade, and tickets to the game. Trips provided by Holiday Travel of Peoria. Join Steve and Gary as they broadcast live from Pasadena. It's an exciting way to start off the new year. From Budweiser and WLS. Thank you, Chuck Britton. 255 WLS, as the man said. Yes, we're here. Yes, till we seven, are. we'll be here till seven, right? Or do you have plans? I'm here. Can till Can you seven. stay till seven? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. My pleasure. Always a pleasure. Good, good. Do we have any unfinished business from yesterday? Well, we never got a hold of that Jesse Jackson article that I saw Friday in the paper, and that's about it. We did everything else. I think so. I believe tomorrow we'll be giving away those Rose Bowl tickets yeah. on our show. Oh, that's right. Today it was on Susan Platt's show. Right? Yeah. Rich McMillan sat in. <laughs> sat in or sat on? In. Okay. 
And, of course, you heard Jane's address to the nation, her Christmas address. You know, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Midnight mess. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. We should play that a lot. We should I like release that. it. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It could be a great single. They should give her a shift here. I mean, imagine. <laughs> What would yeah. she do with all that money, though? That's a great rap. Drugs and alcohol, I say. Yeah. Jane the party queen. Blonde you, how hair. much do you think she makes a year doing this? She told us. 12000 a year. 12000 a year. She'd triple that. Yeah. She'd come in here in leather pants. I like leather. <laughs> we'll I like. see what Getty on next. <laughs> <laughs> I like. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, she'd be great. People would listen. Wouldn't you? I, I would. would. The, the clean, clean one. one. <laughs> <laughs> on on W L S. This moose is coming. <laughs> That's a great rap. We should hear that again today. We will. I wanted to play it early so we could do it later. Yeah, it's really great. We have these commercials right now. This is the time of year Christmas is drawing near. Jonah, wake up! Huh? Come on! It's Christmas! Be twinkling oh, wow. lights, laughter yeah. and magic sights. We like to make dreams come true. Let's see what we just got to bed. Wow! Oh, Goodbye! Atari! Kids, hold it. I want to get a picture. Hey, Joey, look, Frost. We like to make dreams come true. Are you sure it's the right size? Oh, honey, it's perfect. Oh, I hope so. Yuck. Guys are kissing again. Hey, look, We'd Joey. We'd like to help you share, share your love everywhere. We'd like to make dreams come true. Hey, a basketball. A chimpanzee. <laughs> a Christmas. What do we have here? Hit up. Oh, God. Our workmate. It's great. <laughs> Now Taco Bell's giving away free Christmas coupons for you to give to someone, someone special. That's right. Like I'm giving one to my teacher and one to my big brother, Jeffrey. <laughs> They're good for free Taco Bell food items with a qualifying purchase. This one's for Rodney because he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so while supplies last, get five free coupons at any participating Taco Bell restaurant. Four for your friends. And a fifth one for me. I get free nachos. When you buy a Taco Light or a Taco Bell Grande and a medium soft drink. This last coupon's for Santa. He's bringing me a new bike. Right, Daddy? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Uh-oh. You just got the munchies, right? Me too. What do you say we get some? No, I don't want that. And then there's... Again? Got it. Let's get some. Yeah, Taco Bell's new nachos. You're gonna love crunching Taco Bell's new nachos with tortilla chips fried up fresh right at Taco Bell so they're super crisp. Special nacho sauce made with real cheddar cheese plus jalapenos on the side for spicy nachos. Hey, how do you like your... Boy, these nachos are really... Yeah, you can say that again. So next time the munchies attack, fight back with Taco Bell's new nachos. In his poem, The Road Not Taken, Robert Frost tells us that the road we choose to follow in life is often one-directional. There's no turning back to recapture what we may have missed along a different road. Perhaps the road you've chosen led you away from finishing your college education. Although you've achieved some of your goals, a college degree continues to elude you. It seems just out of reach along a different road. Well, there is a way you can achieve this elusive goal. The School of Arts and Sciences at National College of Education would like to show you how you can finish college in as little as one year without veering off the road you've chosen to follow. If you have two years of college and would like to join a learning group in your area, call them now at 691-9360. National College will show you how the road you're on can lead to your degree. Call 691-9360 now. The National College of Education, 691-9360. This is the last week of Pepper. Was that Casey Kasem? Of Pepper's waterbed storewide sale on waterbeds and accessories featuring a complete waterbed for only $149. Only at Pepper's waterbeds. 35 right now, Steve. Foggy tonight with drizzle developing into rain. Low 35, high tomorrow, 38 with occasional rain. So uh, watch out for those trick-or-treaters tonight, won't you? The Denver boot is still on. No activity around the car. No, no one's come back to it. There's a Chevette across the way with a Denver boot on it. <laughs> I'm going to miss having this window yeah. when we move to our new studios. We have a spectacular view of the alley. And the new studios. Yeah. 
It's a lovely alley, too. But the trade-off... A lot of bums down there urinating. It's beautiful. ...will be that we'll have state-of-the-art equipment. I guess that's the trade-off. I guess. We'll still, we'll still have an engineer, right? Yeah. You'll sit in the room with us, too, right? No, it's separated. You haven't seen the layout up there? No. There's a window. I saw a, a blueprint. I thought uh, that you were in the room with us. No, separated. Hmm. Is that good or bad? I think we should all be in the same room. That's the way they do it in New York at a lot of stations. At the ABC stations there, as a matter of fact. Well, let's have them put in a window that we can open in between us. <laughs> Friendly neighbors. Like a drive-thru. Yeah. <laughs> Howie, here comes that hot apple turnover you ordered. Well, whatever. It'll be cool, I guess. Steve, lonely, depressed, or afraid? If you need someone to talk to, call the Samaritans. How about all three? At 947-8300. That's a rock group up in Schaumburg, the Samaritans. <laughs> <laughs> They're just home right now. They, they just got done smoking a doobie, and they feel like rapping. So give them a call. 302-94.7 WLS-FM, Chicago. The bugs roasting on an open fire. Stephen Gann nipping at my ears. Have a really tubular Christmas and New Year's. Love, Scott. You know, the valley boy. Well, winter time is here. Many of you that have outside dogs. Make sure the doghouse is facing south. Put uh, straw on the inside. And make sure they have plenty of food and break the ice on their water every day. People that uh, want to put dogs outside, you best make sure that they're used to the outside months ago before you put them out now. But just going out now right out of the house, don't do it. Be very careful of your dog with salt. Don't let your dogs walk in the salt because they're going to, get to end up with very irritated paws. Make sure that your dogs are well taken care of. Don't let them run loose in this kind of weather. They end up getting froze and lost. Listen tomorrow for more of Animal Talk. What are you supposed to do? Pick your dog up and carry him through the salt? Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Do you have irritated paws? Poor baby. Hey, I almost killed my dogs today. Today? It's almost... Again. <laughs> a running scenario out there, huh? It is one. Unbelievable. I cleaned up 150 pounds of dog dew today. 150 pounds. You know, um, how when you... Like, if you work a lot with your hand, your arm... You grip something for a long time, it gets real shaky after you're done because you've been straining the muscle for so long. My hand is jumping my left uh, arm. and See, look at that. See that? When I, I can get it going. You don't there. have the shakes. Uh, no, because the other one's not shaking. <laughs> uh, no, this one, from gri uh, gripping the pooper scooper, Yeah. it's shaking. When I get it the right way, it really starts jumping. See, look at that. Well, let me hold a piece of paper. That's where you can really see it. You're not performing surgery today, so that's no, good. No, this is my day off. Make it shake. Come on. See? Yeah, he's shaking like a leaf. H 150 pounds. Easy. <laughs> easy. I'm I serious. thought you paid a neighbor boy to do that. Well, only when Janet's out of town. I thought I could skate. Because she's going to be out of town after Christmas. So I figured I could have somebody come over then. But she caught me because all the snow melted. She made me do it. 150 pounds. Easy. Easy. And this is only for maybe a month and a half. And ladies and gentlemen, he threw that in the trunk of his car for better traction. <laughs> He's a thinking man. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. And you know what? They go all over the backyard, too. They don't go in their little run like they're supposed to. And it ticks me out because, see, Janet leaves them outside all day. And they 
they, when, you, when I let them out, and, and when we let them out in the morning, when Janet lets them out, or even when Frankie lets them out in the morning, we make them go back. But I keep telling Janet and Frankie, you have to remember every couple hours to make them go in the back. Otherwise, they'll just go on the grass. But they don't care because they don't ever clean up the dog do. I'm getting electric collars. That's what I want for Christmas. Electric dog collars. I'm just going to sit there. <laughs> upstairs. And remote control them. <laughs> and every time they squat, they're going to get about 200 volts. Yep. That's what I want for Christmas, electric dog collars. I think that Jerry has some. I might try and rent his. See how they work. And Jerry Desaad? Yeah, Jerry the engineer. Because they're pretty expensive, aren't they? Four or five hundred bucks? Three? Three hundred bucks? Oh, it's worth it. Have you ever seen a dog on a dog collar? Unbelievable. <laughs> it's like a puppet. I swear the dog will do anything to, to get you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get letters now. <clears throat> Why don't you get rid of the dogs? Because she won't let me. They keep wrecking our house. It doesn't matter. She won't let me. She's Catholic. She couldn't deal with the guilt of getting rid of the dogs. We had a cat that ruined our house in Bolingbrook. I mean, urinated over every square inch of carpeting. I finally gave the cat to Frankie, who had, I think, killed the cat and ate it. <laughs> and... Uh, I, we couldn't tell Janet for six months that the cat was dead because uh, she couldn't deal with it. I, if I gave these dogs away, she'd kill me. So I'm going with the electric collar. Also, I have another plan. The r dog run is right behind the garage. So I'm going to maybe close off the run because it does have a gate. Lock the gate and drill a hole in the garage and put in a, or cut a hole, one of those dog doors. Let them live in the garage. What do you think? I think that's a good plan. If you don't mind dog poop on your tires. No, they would go in the back. All the time. Well, uh, hey, it's easier to clean up in the garage than it is on the lawn. <laughs> Steve's brown walls. You know what? Because uh, for some reason, my dogs don't have firm stool. And um, so it's the kind that when you go and you get it with the pooper scooper, it kind of... It's like silly... It mushes... Silly caca. It runs away. It mushes down into the lawn, and it's really a mess. Then you have to go get the hose and kind of 